all right so in this video i'm going to show you a particular tool uh, which is available in debian it is called uh, apt mirror this tool will help you to get uh, create a repository of upstream source of Debian uh, various source depending on how you uh, manage it ok so the, the tool name is apt mirror those of you know about it very well those who don't know about it they will come to know about it ok so to let's me go to my terminal and do apt get installed app to mirror okay this is the name of the tool and it is going to be installed okay all right so it is done right so it basically uh, installed two important file one is mirror.list and one for the com file mirror.list is what that you where you supposed to pull down your sources to your local machine okay so i'm creating a directory um app to mirror repo so oh, this is a normal <coughs> uh, directory I have created here okay because I am going to change that file and the file is here um, at this is the file okay which uh, comes along with the package install what you saw uh, I have installed the package right so when I change machine I forgot the keystroke uh, anyway so I am changing the base path ok and I am going to to mirror repo this is the and the location will be home ok so this is the um, this is the location ok uh, I have changed it now you see there are two two URLs are there basically it will fetch from that particular uh, uh, stuff instead of that what I will do I will just um, comment it out and you can do uh, all I did I uncomment the uh, structure specific and architecture specific uh, URL where I can pull down from ok it is a md64 ok I uncommented that particular URL so it can pull it from there now it's time to save it okay so okay so um, that's for fixing the color of the terminal uh, that's the ugly like don't worry about that so now uh, I have already done that right so all you have to do apt mirror ok see it is trying to fetch uh, the stuff what the url you have mentioned in the mirror dot list file which I have edited I have edited two lines I have pointed it to a particular directory what I have created for that specifically in my home folder you could put it anywhere you like but I put it where it is because this sources what it is pulling from is quite large around 190 
GB or 170 GB something like that so it has got hell lot of stuff in it okay so 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 create a directory where you have ample space and then then change the mirror list file and then try to run it as sudo like what I'm doing it is behind the scene basically pulling from that particular uh, it will pull one after another the entire repo of that particular in the 64 structure specific repo what I have uncommented in that particular mirror.list file okay please have patience And I'll show you uh, the what are the corn file because I haven't uh, activate or uncomment the because the corn file it is created uh, because this once you get your repository from upstream the thing is that you wanted to do it um, every now and then so instead of doing it by hand. You, you could probably put a con job which will pull stuff from the upstream and merge it with your local base okay so that is why the con file exists I'll give you I'll show you in a moment um, on what this con file and how this is then you have to set that con entry uh, to, to whatever suitable to you when it will it will fetch it from upstream and merge with your local stuff okay and uh, just give me a little bit more time because I said it these things are quite big uh, if I'm not wrong it's around 150 GB almost minimum I believe so it's quite a lot it just it just getting the initial file from there Now it is getting the index from there. See, it is almost 141.5 GB, quite a lot, right? Here it is. So uh, I'm not going to allow it to do that. I'm just doing it for the demonstration. As I told you, you need to create a directory where you have ample space. But this is how it is going to pull down the sources. I'll, I'll give you. A, I'm cancelling this now. Uh, if I show you, this is the C. The, the structure it is having a scale bar and mirror all this getting into that particular directory what I have created okay so now um, let me show you see this is the entry this is the com file once you install the package this file comes along with it but it is commented out right so you have to uncomment that line and put stuff and you need to change this path to uh, where the lock should appear so this is thing and the last thing is that so if I see the this is the man page it's a very short man page I encourage you to read because it's very necessary to it's a lovely tool uh, for for dealing with the upstream sources in Debian okay it has got so many good things that's why I'm making this video so once you change the uh, uh, 
set up the configuration proper way you could uh, see this configuration like this way okay and uh, these are the these are the file and here are a small vignette about uh, the the software what it is doing behind the scene i encourage you to read it it's a small man page uh, spending five seven minutes uh, doesn't make any harm to you so it's a wonderful tool if you are sitting on Debian and wanted to play with upstream sources uh, apt mirror is a tool which might help you to uh, get things done very easily okay so i hope it will be useful for some people thanks for watching